Hello folks. So this just arrived a few hours ago and I'm so excited. And I'm going to do something I said I would never do. I'm replacing my Explorer Scientific ED-127 telescope. And um, I said I would never replace it because I've had NASA A-pods with it. I've, I've been in magazines. I've had Astro Bin Image of the Day pictures with it. And I am very loyal to equipment that works. You know, when something um, becomes part of my setup, it becomes permanent. So what happened? Why the change now? Well, what happened is um, um, a couple of months ago, I made a video where I compared one of my pictures to the Hubble Space Telescope. And in that video, I actually said my ED-127 scope possibly no longer existed because I couldn't find it on the web. And maybe it was replaced by this telescope from Explorer Scientific, which has better glass. And uh, I was just looking for the wrong name. That's why I couldn't find it. And I put out the video. And the video is already getting views and it, it's getting comments. And one of the comments told me, no, your scope still exists. And uh, I thought, well, it, it's too late. It, it's too late to delete the video. I, I don't want to remove it now. But I better at least tell Explorer Scientific that... <laughs> that uh, I made a mistake because it's probably not good for a company if you if you tell other people that one of their products no longer existed. So I sent a message to Scott Roberts. He's the founder and president of Explorer Scientific. And I told him what happened. And we know each other. We've talked a lot in the past. And there was a long pause. And then I heard back from him and he had actually gone to watch the video. And he loved the video, so okay, phew, I'm off the hook. And so we talked for a while, and he said, well, how would you like it if we did send you this model? And, and, and also include, make it a carbon fiber version as well. And I thought, yeah, that would be very cool. I'd love to try out this scope. Now, and so that's what we've got here. And, and just so you know, this is... Um, it's not a freebie. I am sending them back my old e, ED-127, which I paid maybe $1,500 or $1,600 for. So I am invested in this, but this one is more expensive. So I appreciate that um, Explorer Scientific still sent it to me. Um, thanks, guys. And uh, they've always been supportive of, of what I do. So I appreciate that. So, okay. Um, I forgot my knife. Let me get my knife and... We'll open this up. Okay, let's open this up. And by the way, uh, this scope has the the FCD 100 glass. And what I think that glass will really come in handy is for broadband, helping my RGB colors meet at a more closer a, a, a point that's more close, I'm hoping anyway, because um, I hope that will help my stars because I noticed in the past, if I'm capturing a broadband object that has really large stars, the blue stars come out a little bigger than my red and green stars. So, and I thought it was the filter at first, but in my past YouTube videos, some people said it might be the telescope. And uh, I'm hoping uh, with, with this scope, that helps me in that area if I'm capturing an object surrounded by um, large stars. If the stars were small, um, I didn't really have much of a problem. So we'll see. I could be completely wrong on that. I'm not a very technical person. All you got to tell me is better glass, and that's good enough for me. But I did look, um, the, the carbon fiber option is four pounds lighter than my existing ED-127. So this, this is, um, uh, I believe it has, I should have looked at the specs, but I think it has the exact same focal length, the, um, uh, uh, it's, and what else would it say? The same focal length. 
the same field of view and the same um, focal ratio, uh, f7.5. But it's four pounds lighter than my other scope because it's it's uh, carbon fiber. Ooh, I almost screw this. <laughs> I had some pieces in it here. Uh, these are just adapters for the the focuser, and it has a diagonal. I'm just going to leave them in here because I'm going to be using my moonlight focuser anyway. Uh, that yeah. Oh, and there's a bag probably for that stuff. Be careful with this. I think the tube is a is a little bit larger than my old one too. Now, I'm not going to take that off. So, here it is, folks. I should be careful with it. I keep knocking it. Now, I can't use this, by the way. The furnace just came on. Can you believe that? It's still cold in the Detroit area. So you might hear a hum in the background. I can't use this right away though because I'm waiting for my um, my moonlight focuser can't just swap from my old one to my new one because on the old one the moonlight focuser is threaded on where this one uses screws. So Ron from Moonlight is gonna he's ar it's already on the way. He's sending me an adapter, a flange, so that I can use my focuser with this one. And plus I'm in the middle of a galaxy with my old scope. So I want to finish that before I send it back. So it might be a couple of weeks before this one starts to see action, depending on, on, on really how many clear skies I get. But right now, it's been raining a lot. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you my new scope. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of this in the future. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you later. Hello folks, look just, look, uh, look at here. Hello folks, so, hello folks, so, so nothing. <sighs> Trying to concentrate. I called, or uh, I sent Scott Roberts a message. He's the founder and president of Explorer Scientific, and we've talked in the past, we know each other, and um, he told me, uh, what did he tell me? I don't know what he told me. <laughs> yeah, I got some new equipment here. Are we done now?